Hi, my name is Randy White. Uh, I'll be demonstrating for you now the oropharyngeal airway, the nasopharyngeal airway, and the bag valve mask um, and the ventilatory process. Uh, the first thing is, is, as we pan down here, we can see there's a lot of different things involved in airway and airway control. So we're going to talk about each one of these things in a different video, but we'll be doing, to, uh, just now, we'll be doing the oropharyngeal airway and the nasal pharyngeal airway along with the bag valve mask device. All right, we're gonna talk about the nasal pharyngeal airway now. Now the nasal pharyngeal airway can be used in the conscious patient or semi-conscious patient and it doesn't stimulate the gag reflex, so they can actually have a gag reflex with this airway. It provides a tube that goes straight down through to the trachea, um, you know, just, just landing on this side of the trachea. We're going to measure off the airway. We measure off the airway from the ear to the tip of the nose, and we can also measure French, which is the patient's little finger diameter, okay? And so now we're going to lubricate this airway. But the next step is I want you to take and pull the nose back so that we're looking straight down into a cavity. The nose actually looks like it comes back toward the forehead, but it doesn't. It actually goes straight down this way. So as you can see here in the mannequin, in our, in our skeleton, it goes straight down. It doesn't go straight up, it goes straight down. So that's why we're going to pull the nose down just a bit, okay? We're gonna take our lubricated airway and we're gonna begin in the right side. In most people, the right side is usually the straightest side, it's the most open side, and it's easier to put the airway in. Now we're going to take the bevel of the airway, which is this part of the airway, and we're going to put the bevel toward the septum, okay? And now we're going to push the airway straight down into the mannequin. And now from here, we can keep the airway open, keep the tongue off the back of the throat. We can ventilate, we can oxygenate, and we can do whatever we need to. Now, if perhaps you don't have a straight shot or you meet resistance in the right side, we want to put it in the left side and the way that we do that is again we will pull the nose back at the same time and again the bevel toward the septum we're going to roll the airway down bevel toward the septum and then we're after we get past the septum we're going to turn the airway 180 degrees and go straight down toward the curvature of the throat again we'll be able to ventilate oxygenate or whatever we need to do for the patient